Hello my loves, it's Kemi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five or some of my favorite nude lip combo. These are like my go-to combos that I do with majority of my looks. I'm always like alternating between one of these. Obviously this is gonna be catered to on my skin complexion. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video and let me show you guys some really good nude lip combo. Before we jump in, I'm just gonna walk you guys through some of my favorite lip liners that I always use and I'll alternate within my looks. I've got seven here that I rotate between. These are the lip liners that I always pair with like a lipstick or a lip gloss to go with my looks. I am not a babe that just wears the lipstick or the lip gloss by itself unless it's like my clear lip gloss. I definitely would have like a lip liner on with any lip products that I use. So starting off, we're gonna start with the classic and that is the MAC Chestnut. If you're a dark skin babe, MAC Chestnut is what you need. It's a definitely like a go-to. This is what she looks like. It has that woody texture to it. It has that dry formula, but it is pigmented. It's like a dark skin babe go-to. Absolutely love her. And MAC has a wide range of lip liners that you're bound to find a lip liner that works for your skin. Really like her. It is a true brown with a warm undertone. Next, we have the Morphe Trendsetter Lip Liner. I personally would say this is a dupe for the MAC Chestnut. As you can see, it's very, very similar to the MAC. Again, it has that woody texture to it. They are very, very similar. I would say the Morphe is a tiny, just a tad bit deeper than my MAC Chestnut, but the undertone of them are both the same. They're both long lasting as well and they have that dry texture to them. Next we have the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liners. This lip liner is so gorgeous and NYX has a wide range as well. As you can see, it's very rich in color. It has that purpley reddish undertone to it. I like to use this when I'm going for that more pinkier nude lip. It is very different to the Morphe and the MAC because this more have like that brownish undertone where this one has more of that purplish undertone i paired these two up with more of like my warm brownish like a true nude um, lipstick or lip gloss where with this one I pair with more like orangey coral pinks lip glosses and lipsticks next i have this nk lip liner i can't remember the name of this but I absolutely love her too. She is like my perfect balance between the warm and the pink. It's like the perfect in-between shade between my brownish and my purplish undertone lip liners. Look at that. She is very creamy. Can't believe this literally cost like, I wanna say like two pounds from the hair shop. Like it's so creamy. The only thing I would say about this is that it doesn't last as long as the three lip liners that I mentioned earlier. You will definitely have to reapply this throughout the day. But for like two pounds, you can't really go it wrong, you know? I can't remember the shade name of this, unfortunately, because I have sharpened the life away of it. Next, my absolute favorite that I literally use all the time is this ColourPop Lippy Pencil. I am pretty sure she does not need any introduction because you guys have seen her multiple times on my channel. You're probably sick and tired of me using this, but honestly, honestly, she is my favorite out of the bunch and that is the reason why. It's super creamy, super buttery. Absolutely love the undertone of it. It's like a true brown. It's not too warm and it's like deep enough because I personally like my lips to stand out because my top lip is darker than my bottom lip. I truly, truly enjoy this. It's so smooth, so buttery and it's just super affordable as well. Like I truly, truly enjoy this. Next we have another product that does not need any introduction and that is my Primark eyeliner that I use as a lip liner. This eyeliner is the only product that I use to deepen up all five of my lip liners. Like I mentioned earlier, I do like my lips to stand out and this baby gives me that. I love the fact that it's so close to black, but it's not black. It's a true, true neutral brown shade. Regardless of what lip liner I'm wearing, this is what I use to deepen it up, to really make my lips stand out. And I just love the way it complements all five of my lip liners. Like this works so well together. And then lastly for lip liner, lately, I I have been loving to use black. I know it's given 90s vibes, but I do it in a way where it doesn't even show that I'm wearing a black lip liner. And the one I've been using is by ColourPop as well. It is their lippy pencil. I literally just put it on my cubist bow and just at the bottom of my bottom lip. The shade of this is Ball Chick and I just love the fact that these lippy pencils are just so creamy that you just can't go wrong with them. They glide on so effortlessly on the lips and 
they just work amazing and this is pretty much seven of my favorite lip liners that i use to create all my lip combo now we can go in to the lip combo and show you guys some gorgeous gorgeous combination i think i might do a lip combo using each one of these liners each lip liner out of the five i'll be pairing it up with either my primark lip liner to deepen it up with or my color pop one or maybe both just so you guys are aware so again the first with chestnut by mac i'm just gonna like work it in more into my lips now to deepen we're using the primark lip liner this is in the shade brown by the way i don't know if i mentioned that earlier on with this lip liner i like to use my Too Faced lip injection lip gloss in the shade secure the bag this is super creamy and it just pairs in nicely with the undertone of the chestnut lip liner and then finish it off with a clear lip gloss And uh, this is the first lip combo. What do we think? It's very much of that, you know, dark pumpkin vibe. It's just so gorgeous. Everything is just like married into each other. Next, we're using Trendsetter to line our lips. As you can see, it's just gliding onto my lips so effortlessly. Then, of course, going with my Primark to deepen up. And then with this, I'm actually going to use my She Glam Wretched Romance Cream Liquid Lip Lipstick in the shade Creep It's Real. I'm going to place that in the center of my lips first it's so soft on the lips and then for the center we're gonna brighten it up with mommy's dearest put that in the center of my lips and like so and i feel like this is just like the most prettiest satin finish lips that i do on days i don't want to wear gloss this is something i go to because it is very comfortable on the lips and it just looks absolutely gorgeous and if i want to turn this into a gloss i would go in with my Too Faced lip injection lip gloss in the shade soulmate forgive me i do love my lip injections i just place this in the center of my lips we always finish off with a clear lip gloss like so it's very different to the first one because i feel like the first was more of like orangey but this was more of like a true nude so we started off with morphe transcend lip liner then deepened up with our primark eyeliner and then we went with our she glam liquid lipsticks and just added the Too Faced lip injection on top and just added a clear lip gloss on top i'm also going to finish off with a clear lip gloss because they just hit with me and this is pretty much lip combo number two very juicy Next on the list, we're gonna use the NYX Sway Matte Lip Liner. This lip combo is not gonna work with my eye look. I've done a more of like a neutral brown look. And again, deepen up with the Primark. For lips, we're gonna use the Kika Milano 3D Hydra Lip Gloss. This is in the shade 20. And just apply it straight on. And if I'm a lip gloss on top, I'm gonna to go in with my NK lip gloss, but this time in the shade strawberry. I either use the shade strawberry or cherry, one of the two, whichever one is like closest to me. Because it has that reddish tint to it. And then going on top, adding my MUA tinted lip gloss in the shade Sorbet, just to bring a little bit more colour to the centre of my lips. And just like that, this is lip number three. And sometimes I actually do like to add another lip injection, this time in the shade Glossy and Bossy. And I just place this in the center of my lips. Next, I'm gonna use this NK lip liner, deepen it out with my Primark eyeliner. I'm gonna grab my Too Faced X Plastic Boy lipstick and just place that in the center of my lips. It's such a gorgeous shade. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of the black in my Cupid's bow. Just like this. Again, you can just wear this combo like this. But you guys know me, I love me a good gloss. So what I'm gonna do, go in with my MUA Super Stylo Satin Finish Lipstick. Put this in the center of my lips to brighten. Go in with my Sheer Brilliant Lip Gloss by Revolution. And finish up with my clear lip gloss. 
like saying and sometimes i like to add a little bit of shimmer to my lips so i like to go in with my mua lip gloss in the shade honeyed or i'll use my Too Faced lip injection lip gloss in the shade um cotton candy kisses or use the shade chocolate plum or my color pop luxe gloss anything that has a little bit of sparkle a little bit of glitter in them i do like to add it sometimes to give me that extra feather boom to my lips today i'm going to do honeyed because i feel like i've done a lot of Too Faced in today's video i am only placing this on my keepers bow as well and like so it gives my lips a little something that i like and i just enjoy it and that is my fourth lip gloss i know what you guys are thinking like came with they all look similar they're really not like if you really think about it they're really not and then lastly we're going in first with the colourpop lippy pencil liner and look how does that just glides onto the lips and then of course deepen that with my primark eyeliner majority of the time this is the combo that i'm always wearing because it goes with so many looks and then all i do is just go in with my mua tinted lip gloss in the shade glaze just apply this on And just to turn on the brightness, I go in with a more pink or reddish lip gloss. Sometimes I do use my clear one if I have a lipstick underneath. And here we have it. And that is my last lip combo. This is the lip combo that I wear in majority of my videos because it goes with so many looks. If not, this one is definitely one of the fives that I've showed you guys in today's video. For the pink ones, sometimes I do go in with my e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Mocha Twist Mocha. I don't know why I forgot to show you guys this one, but this is one of my top lip glosses that I wear as well. And that is pretty much five of some of my favorite lip combo. What do you guys think about them? Are they too glossy for you? are they just right let me know down below how we're feeling if you guys want to see more of like a lipstick version or more of like a satin matte finish or with more shades like pinks and reds let me know down below and i'll try to get that video out for you guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys find out at least one of this lip combo that will work for you i love you guys so much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah.